Right. Yeah, <laughs> look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the... Okay, any, but... Any you... thoughts at this, to this point? Yeah. I was actually describing I... a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> I did have Hebrew tattooed on me, which was I am that I am. I did have that. So I do remember like trying to make sure everything separate. But to me, this looks more like like long nails like you would use to crucify a Lord. So maybe it's mm. like the Trinity mm. of nails and you're getting resurrected with energy. So why don't we <laughs> why don't we interpret it that way, lady? You know, why not? You're too good at this. I'm so good at this. <laughs> we could. Everybody thought this lady was crazy. She exposed this over five years ago. Exposed what? So even so what if it was called 666 <laughs> Energy? So right. what? Am I drinking the devil? Is that what this <laughs> is? I'm drinking his blood. This is a satanic communion. Well, at least it has an effect on me. I wake up. What, what, is the, what does the grape juice have an effect on you? Oh, I wish I had more grape juice. That's all I <laughs> <laughs> and you're like i'm actually really hungry right now this is not enough you know Ugh. i don't know Perfect. Anyway, yeah. what do you see in the o there's a cross okay what has christ got to do with an energy drink let alone the name monster oh see christian energy drink qed <laughs> That's it. So I thought, well, oh, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. They can. In fact, they run. <laughs> That's the F word. Big freestyle and can. Okay, so okay. what? So what? Like, how? again, how is this? If you're really upset with it, come up with like a like a like a holy water drink or something. You know what I mean? Is the devil's well, master plan to print stuff on an energy drink can the only crazy way they can figure out? Is. Like how, how is this <laughs> how is this something that is is any in any way impactful? Okay, the devil's yeah. good at branding. He 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 his, his, his grand plan is for her to have some weird career talking to people about the can he made. That's it. She, she That's on Fox News or anything? I feel like she should be. I remember, but in my evangelical days, I do remember feeling like there was there could be such a category as a Christian company, which I now realize is largely ridiculous. Of course, right? Because it's just not the way, just not the way any of that works. So, uh, and also. Yes, you can't be Christian and also, you know, say the F word because we all know how, where in the Bible where it says don't use the rock up your in, brother. <laughs> don't use the word, don't use a crude word for sex in a language that hasn't been invented yet. That's it. No, because yeah. English is the true language of Jesus, hence mm. King James Version. We know this. All right. Big F and can. That's it. On the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. Not you. MILF, dig it, and you will too. <laughs> where, where does it, okay, first of all, where does I it didn't want to be the one to say that, so thank yeah, you. Where does it say you're welcome? <laughs> yeah, so I would not, but uh, where, where does it say MILF on the can? Does it say MILF? Um, is it going to be appealing to MILF? It says MILF. So, uh, what she said was milfs like it, and you will too. Is that apparently what it says on the side of the box? Oh, well, I'm sure it keeps them slim. It keeps them energized. They can follow their kids around. Of course, milfs would love it, especially the sugar-free version. I, I don't see what. So, what is because it's got the F word again? I what about mo what weird. about mothers? I'd like to friend on Facebook. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> Fellowship. fellowship. That's I it. What is it fellowship with? The, yes. the F in MILF is for fellowship. Big um, fellowship can because you can share it with right. your fellows. That's it. See, again, I you wonder if perhaps you want. this could be an elaborate plot so you can go around to conventions and ask people if they know what a MILF is. Do you know what a MILF is? Do you know what a MILF is? <laughs> 
why I just so what so what okay let's pretend the devil did this then what he's making money I then you should know not to drink monster energy drinks I guess yeah I guess now I mean for Pentecostals this was the idea that like the devil gets in in every way possible so if you play a video mm. game that's this way you've invited the devil into your house so if you drink this satanic drink you've invited the devil into your body um, there was a belief that you can't be possessed unless you accept possession. So you have to like somehow invite it in such as, oh, Jay Richter having Pokemon is satanic flashbacks here. We got D&D is the satanic one because it was on the tail end of the satanic panic for sure. But yeah, Pokemon because of evolution. Um, so anything like that, playing the Pokemon game is inviting the devil. Um, playing Dungeons and Dragons, obviously magic, witchcraft, inviting the devil. I guess that's it. But if you're not that kind of Christian, did Mennonite do Mennonites have that idea, Paul? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that you'd be inviting <clears throat> that, that certain like even so for us, we weren't allowed to use playing cards, for example, that had um, like the kings and the queens and the spades and things like that, because mm -hmm. that was too closely associated with occultic activities for us to even have that, which is why Mennonites invented other card games that had different kinds of cards. I'm very <laughs> like, interested. Can you pull up? Mennonite cards to share with so, us? So, so Dutch Blitz, for example. I don't know if you've ever played Dutch Blitz. That's a Mennonite oh, card yeah. game. I didn't um, know that. The game, the game Rook, okay. uh, was, came came out of our came out of our tradition as well. So it's the same uh, card because it doesn't because it has game. no no. But the Rook has no Rook is number one to fourteen. Yeah, and it's just colors. There's no like symbols. Interesting. So no, we were we were very much on the uh, on the stay away from the occult because you're you never know what you're inviting in. What about the playing cards that have naked ladies on it? Was that something you could do? <laughs> <laughs> well, that would have been fine as long as there's no clubs and diamonds and hearts. Yeah, yeah. That's, good. that's yeah. good. Okay, guys, we know that. Hit up the Mennonites with the naked ladies. That's right. Jehovah's Witnesses think that you can bring demons into your house by unknowingly buying a possessed item at a garage sale. Yes, skeptics and scoundrels, specifically or very classically Smurfs. I know that one. I'm trying to learn more about Jehovah's Witnesses because there's so many of them in Korea. So. Oh, you got me. I need to, apparently I need to check my Twitter. Oh, maybe oh, there's oh, a the, 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 the CD. Well, well, yeah, well, I'll work on that. I'll work on that's it. Hey, Liz. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do my best with this damn migraine. I'm trying to do my best here. So sometimes I forget words. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, let's let's hear more about the Satan's plan of the monster drink. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at monsters and this is the statement. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people that cry. I'm confused. Is that because monster is another word for beast? No, it says unleash the beast. That's, oh, the, the, that's beast. the tagline. Okay. But what gotcha. I'm thinking, first of all, the 666 was not from the Hebrew part of the Bible, so who cares? Uh, you know, if it's written in Greek or something, fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the, the other thing is that why would he make it so, like, why would the devil make it that obvious? That's what I don't understand. Like, if I'm trying to infiltrate something, so, like, for me, one of the things that held me back from getting tattoos while I was in the military is I wanted to work in counterintelligence, and you're, like, going into other countries blending in. You don't, like, drop that you're secretly American. No, you blend in. Right. You know what I mean? You're just blend in. Um, so why, why would the devil send us a message if he's trying to blend in? I... Uh, wouldn't it be better to totally trick all the Christians and not include this 666 and the beast and all this other stuff if that's what he's doing? Isn't isn't he smarter than the average uneducated Christian? I mean, <laughs> you'd, you'd think, right? Well, and literally all he does, there's, there's no content or no message other than identifying himself. So yeah. Hi, why? I'm here. Drink yeah. me. I mean, okay. <laughs> Okay, Alan. What, what, what I love is this lady's complaining about how this M is all over T-shirts and hats and everywhere, and she's waving it in front of everybody. It's like, well, good job. Not <laughs> everybody knows. Point. 
yeah like what is what is this it's a good point <sighs> right math pig says who doesn't love naked lady cards Huge love, Ms. Lemon. I'm hoping that those are unrelated sentences. <laughs> he loves that I brought it up as for a way for him to advertise. Yeah. The <laughs> Do the math. <laughs> even so can see. And look at it this way. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. And what is witchcraft? When the cross goes upside down, bottoms up, and the double laughs. <laughs> Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Ray Satan Frank is. is good. Right? You know that? Like, like part, so part of the reason for those, like, you know, watching this, and because I, I told you guys about this, the Paul and, and Bud. Um, I wanted to have like a theme for my makeup, which is kind of what I do. And so what I thought girl defined, very boring. Let's just go like full, you know, 80s satanic panic kind of thing. And it's just like, I was a goth back in the day, you know? And, and one of the things that I really hated was this idea that you couldn't be a Christian goth, that you had to support the devil and all of this. Cause look at all these upside down crosses. And I kept trying to tell people, no, the upside down cross is a super Christian symbol it's yeah. it's like to show that I can't, I'm so nothing. I can't even be crucified in the same way as our Lord. Like I had to keep telling people that. So I, I still don't understand in this time of unlimited access to, to learning that people still think the upside down cross is this satanic symbol. It's just so not. according to the really Christian really legend, did Peter want to have a satanic crucifixion? That was it. He wanted to be crucified for the devil. <laughs> 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 that's it. Oh, so ridiculous. So that's Scott it. writes, that's the saddest statement ever. Think about it. I don't know which statement, though. I don't know either. We don't know what's true, Scott, man. I'm sorry. Is, that it, was is it maybe that the devil was laughing? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, why? Why isn't it that? Lou Bellar is how he can such a hell of a drug. I agree, Lou. I agree. Christian home and a Christian's life, and it breaks God's heart. It breaks, dad's it breaks God's heart. heart.